Hello everyone. In a previous video we made flash paper by nitrating cotton paper. After several people contacted me after watching that video about adding color to the flash paper, I decided to do a video on making it. Adding colors to reacting compounds is nothing new, and most of my subscribers are familiar with doing this. But for those who may not have a chemistry or pyro background, this is an easy way to liven up an already fun reaction. To begin you'll need some flash paper. You can watch my video on making it or several other methods on YouTube for making it. Either way, you'll need to cut the sheets to the size that you like. I find the sheets the size about a quarter to be perfect. Now you can also use gun cotton, but it takes a lot longer to dry. Okay, after the sheets are cut, you'll need to dunk them and let them soak in a solution of water and the compound you wish to use to color the flame. In this case, I'm using copper chloride. Pour the compound into a small amount of water and swirl to dissolve. Most of the compounds I'll be using in this video dissolve easily in water. However, for some, that I'll indicate later, we'll heat the water in a microwave to get them to dissolve faster. It's not important to saturate the water with the compound. In fact, doing this can cause poor results. We just want enough of the compound to get deposited on the flash paper without affecting the flash paper. I let them soak for about three minutes. Okay. That is the procedure that we'll use for each of the compounds that I'm going to show. I don't want to waste everyone's time by showing this procedure for each of the compounds. So I'll give you the compound as we see the results. By the way, I realize that there are many different compounds and mixes of compounds to depart color to the reaction. I'm only showing the ones that I like to use. I know that there are many others that may work better. However, I'm just using what I have. If you have a better way or a safer way to color the flame, please post a video of the compound that you used and the results. Okay, let's get started. Alright, let's begin with green. To get green I use boric acid. This is also when I use a microwave to warm up the water to get the boric acid to dissolve. You'll notice that it does not burn as clean as regular nitrocellulose due to the boric acid. Of all the compounds, this was the worst at leaving soot behind. Because of the soot left by boric acid, I thought I'd try getting green another way by using copper chloride. This burned much cleaner, though it gave a lighter green. To get purple, I used potassium nitrate. This gives a really nice purple that unfortunately my camera doesn't do a very good job of picking up. It looks much better in person. If the water is too saturated with potassium nitrate when you soak the paper, I find it becomes very difficult to light the paper. I should also note that potassium chloride also gives a nice purple, and even a cleaner burn. For blue, I use copper ammonium chloride. I say blue, it's really closer to teal. Blue is a difficult color to get to work. Most of the literature I was reading used arsenic compounds to generate deep blues. If anyone has a way to make a darker blue without using a compound that would kill us, please let me know. By the way, if you were wondering why the image is so dark, I had to really mess with the camera settings to get it to capture the color. That being said, the colors are much more vibrant than what I can get my camera to actually show here. I saved the best color, red, for last. Of course it's just strontium nitrate. This produced the most striking color of all the compounds. It was the only color I could shoot actually using it as flash paper and my camera would pick it up. If you only try one of these compounds, I would highly recommend this one. Okay, one more thing you can do. Cut the flash paper into long strips. Then, dip the strips halfway in one of the solutions and let it sit for a few minutes. Then let it dry. And then, dip the other half in a different solution. This will give you multicolored flash paper. Once the strips are dry, simply light one end and throw. They will start out in one color and then flash in the other color. 
Thanks for watching.